So don't let the uncertainty or the perceived complexity of selling and shipping cards on eBay deter you from taking part because it's really not that complicated. And today I'll be giving you all of the tips and secrets to packaging and shipping cards. Let's roll the intro. Hey everybody, what's up from Pokemon Classics, reminding you that the classics never go out of style. You know, recently I've been working on my eBay store, listing a bunch more items, and it dawned on me that I haven't updated my shipping video in quite a while. And I know there's a number of collectors out there that are looking at getting started selling, but they're a bit intimidated by the whole process of listing cards, packaging cards, how to ship cards, and some of that just takes experience. So today, Fear not, I'm gonna offer you some of the tips and tools of the trade that I think can maximize the efficiency for packaging and shipping out those cards. Now, when it comes to shipping, whether you're doing raw individual singles or graded cards, I really think there's three primary options for shipping that cover pretty much all of the basis. One is the eBay standard envelope. One is the USPS ground advantage, which is a new service that's replacing uh, first class mail. And finally, we'll take a look at USPS priority mail which is one of my personal favorites, especially for graded cards. Anyway, let's take a look at each of these and we'll unpack them and some of the advantages and as well as some of the materials that I would recommend for each one of these services. First, let's talk about the eBay standard envelope. Now this is a relatively new offering from eBay back when they were investing very heavily into the TCG space wanting to market cards on their platform. And previous to this, a lot of sellers would just send out individual single cards in a standard white envelope with postage stamps. But the problem here was that it put the seller in a compromising position since there wasn't any tracking or any delivery confirmation on those particular shipping services. Hence, the change from eBay with the eBay standard envelope. Again, this is basically the same thing. It's your standard white envelope but with the addition of tracking on it. Now, these are designed specifically for cards that are under $20, and there are some specifications that need to be met, some size and some weight restrictions. But uh, eBay lists it out as you can provide up to 15 raw cards in one of these envelopes or two top loaders. And I think that's enough for most people, particularly those selling low value, value singles. And then obviously it goes without stating, this is not what you're gonna want for graded cards. Graded cards are not allowed to use this service. One of the things I would throw out there though is rather than using a standard white envelope here, you can use slight envelope upgrades. And one of the ones that I particularly like, I ordered some of these, these five inch by seven inch paper boards from eBay. eBay has a whole store front where you can buy shipping and packaging materials. And a fun fact, if you have an eBay store of your own, you actually get an eBay coupon quarterly, so four times per year, get $25 credit at this store uh, which can be used to purchase some of these shipping supplies. Now, what I like about these is these are a bit more rigid than a standard envelope would be. There's no padding in them, but again, it's a little extra layer of protection. And as you can see, you can get 100 envelopes for the price of $30.28. You apply that eBay quarterly coupon, you're paying just a little over $5 for 100 of these. And I think that's a pretty good value. So when it comes to shipping, I would recommend using a sleeve into a top loader and then into a team bag to keep the card securely in place so it's not falling out of the top loader while it's in transit. Then you can slide that right into that paperboard envelope or whatever envelope you're using, throw your shipping label on there, and you're done. It's really that simple. Again, some of the benefits of the eBay standard envelope is it's very affordable at just 63 cents to a little over a dollar, depending on what you're shipping. It comes with tracking, you can insure it. And again, it's gonna give you that peace of mind over the traditional stamp and envelope option. Option number two, when it comes to shipping on eBay is the USPS Ground Advantage. Now this was previously known as first class mail. I'm not really sure why they changed it, but USPS phased out the first class option and they replaced it here with Ground Advantage. And uh, what I like about this is it's also affordable, but it has a little bit more options and packaging versatility that you don't get with the eBay standard envelope. Also, it's available to cards that are over $20, and that's generally when I would use this service. Now, I use this for both raw cards as well as graded cards. And usually if you're shipping within the continental US, it's gonna be about $4, but again, that is based on the weight and the location of where you're shipping to. Now, when it comes to USPS Ground Advantage, you do get $100 of insurance on your package as well as the tracking number. And I know both of those things add some security and some peace of mind when you're shipping, particularly if you're doing this for the first time and you're not necessarily used to that process. You can even purchase additional insurance if you have valued cards that are over $100. And the delivery time is actually pretty quick. 
In my experience, it's usually about two to three days within the United States, but they do list a two to five day delivery timeline. Now, one of the things that I think is great to pair up with the Ground Advantage or first class service are these bubble mailers that come from eBay store as well. Now, the ones that I like are the ones that are eight and a half inches by 11 and a quarter inch. And uh, I think these are a great value because you get like the added protection of bubble wrap, but it's actually built in directly into the mailer itself. Now, on the store, you can get 100 of these envelopes for $42.16, which I think is great. I mean, that's only like 42 cents per bubble mailer, which is a much better price than what you'll find at the store. But when you combine it with the eBay quarterly coupons that I mentioned earlier, you use one of those $25 coupons, you're cutting that cost down pretty substantially. Now, just like before, what I would recommend for shipping is starting out by putting your card into a sleeve, putting the sleeve into a top loader, and then the top loader into a team bag, folding it over and getting it nice and tight at the top so that the card can't escape throughout transit. Now, what I like for these is I use Ultra Pro sleeves and top loaders. Right now, you can find them on Amazon for $100 for $19. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below if you're interested in that. And then in terms of team bags, what I actually like to do is use the Ultra Pro PSA sleeves since I do sell graded cards as well as individual raw cards. And these are actually pretty versatile. They can fit both. So if you are shipping graded cards, you can put the graded card in a sleeve, maybe throw in a business card with it, and then you can keep it from getting scratched up. But also you can use those same PSA sleeves as team bags by putting in your top loader and then folding it over. It still has the sticky side. So it works functionally in the same way, but it allows you to do either of those two options. But anyway, this is one of my favorite shipping services. It's really fast, it's secure, and it gives you that added benefit of having some insurance great option for cards that are over $20. And usually I kind of max these out at around $100. And that's when I go to the next option, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. Finally, we have USPS Priority Mail. When it comes to shipping with Priority Mail, what I typically do is I use the flat rate boxes. Now these boxes are the small flat rate boxes and you can get them from the post office for free. You're allowed to take as many as you want, but if you're going to use them, you have to make sure you select the small flat rate box service before purchasing and printing your shipping label. Now these shipping labels run about $8 if purchased directly through eBay. I believe they're closer to $10 at the post office. So you do get a nice little discount if you're buying through the platform of eBay itself. You just select it from the drop down option. And they also come with $100 worth of insurance, the same type of tracking that you would get with the Ground Advantage service. Now you do automatically receive $100 in insurance value on the package, but you can purchase additional insurance and that's something that I have done before when sending high value items, particularly cards that I'm sending out for grading purposes. And the delivery timeline is actually quite quick with Priority Mail. In my experiences, it's about two to three days. They list it as one to three days within the United States. And just like before, the packaging is pretty much the same. Generally, when I use this service level, it's for graded cards, particularly higher value graded cards that I don't want broken or damaged in transit. And so having the added protection of a box is exactly what I'm looking for here. Now, what I like to do is use this wrap and fold technique. So I'll start out by taking the graded card, put it in a graded card sleeve, along with one of my business cards, seal it off. And then I put it into the eBay bubble mailer, one of the eight and a half by 11 ones, and then fold that over. What you'll notice is it doesn't quite fit within the box once you have your box folded up. So what you need to do is actually fold over the excess of the bubble mailer, and then it almost makes like an L shape and then put it in the box. It'll actually fit the box really well, but it'll wanna force itself up and out of the box. And that's exactly what I'm counting on. That's what I want. As you can see, once it's in the box, you can fold up the sides and it almost creates like this L shape with a 45 degree angle. And that's what I like because it keeps the card from shifting all over during transit. It's not like rattling around inside the box, but also it adds an element of flexibility to the package itself. So if there's a little bit of pressure applied to the top or the bottom, the card has some room to move without getting squished. But the best part is the efficiency. You're utilizing the same exact shipping materials and resources that you would otherwise use with lower level items and lower level shipping services. There's no need to buy additional bubble wrap or packaging materials. And when it comes to storing these types of materials, they're all readily accessible, regardless of what type of order you're packaging. I love this system. I think it works beautifully and it's one I would strongly recommend. Anyway, hopefully you guys found this video helpful for all of your own packaging and shipping needs. And if there's anything you like from that eBay shipping supply store, I'll go ahead and leave links down in the description below for the items that I use. It's a system I've used for a while now and I've been very happy with it over all the years. Also, 
Please don't be scared, don't be deterred from selling cards on eBay simply because you don't know how to package or how to ship or how to sell. It is a learning process and learning can be scary, but that is what life is. We learn, we grow. That's where growth comes from. So never be afraid to try something new. Maybe you'll find a new passion. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm Pokemon Classics, reminding you that the classics never go out of style. Until next time, everybody, stay well, have fun, and don't forget to enjoy collecting. That is why we're here after all. We'll see y'all with the next video. Bye, everybody.